Everyone wants to know, what happened to a famous American soccer journalist who died suddenly while covering the World Cup in Qatar? But first, we know there are plenty of speculations out there regarding foul play and Wall's death, but right now, nothing has been confirmed. Here's what we do know so far. On December 9th, Wall was in the press box watching the much-anticipated World Cup quarterfinal matchup between Argentina and the Netherlands. During that time, Wall, who was in his late 40s, suddenly collapsed in his chair, witnesses say. Emergency services responded and reportedly worked on him for 20 to 30 minutes before removing him from the stadium in a stretcher. His last tweet came during those final nail-biting moments of the Argentina-Netherlands match. Quote, just an incredible design set-piece goal by the Netherlands. No cause of death has been announced. Wall made headlines weeks before his death after writing about being detained by Qatari security ahead of the U.S.'s matchup with Wales for wearing a t-shirt that featured a soccer ball surrounded by a rainbow. On his substack, Wall explained that he wore the shirt, quote, in support of LGBTQ rights in a country where same-sex relationships are illegal, end quote. He was eventually released and FIFA issued an apology. On December 5th, Wall wrote on his substack that he wasn't feeling well. My body finally broke down on me. Three weeks of little sleep, high stress, and lots of work can do that to you. What had been a cold over the last 10 days turned into something more severe on the night of the USA-Netherlands game. And I could feel my upper chest take on a new level of pressure and discomfort. He said he had tested negative for COVID and was given a round of antibiotics and heavy-duty cough syrup for possible bronchitis. When it came to sports journalism, specifically soccer journalism, Wall was a powerhouse. In one of his most famous pieces for Sports Illustrated, that helped put him on the map, Wall wrote The Chosen One, chronicling the rise of then high schooler LeBron James. Wall was ultimately considered to be instrumental in increasing the popularity of U.S. soccer, even as he refused to shy away from criticizing and challenging the figures behind soccer's international organizational bodies. FIFA president Gianni Infantino called Wall's love of football and Mets and mentioned how the journalist was recently honored by FIFA and the International Sports Press Association for reporting on eight consecutive FIFA World Cups. On December 10th, the day England would take on France, Wall's press box was empty, save for a bouquet of flowers. The U.S. State Department said his body and belongings had been repatriated back to the U.S. Local media also reported the death of Qatari photojournalist Khalid al-Muslam on December 10th. Al-Muslam worked for news outlet Al-Qas TV. No cause of death had been announced.